What up, big time gang? Welcome back to another Tommy Big Time video. Thought I started out a little different. Love this wooden plaque. It's normally on my shelf. I took it down to get down the case. But gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. This is what we're talking about today. Prometheus Poseidon. First time owning a Prometheus. I think the watch is dope. So after the intro, we'll talk about it. Prometheus as a brand. Don't know too much about it. I know that they're sold out on the website. Um, this watch came up from the homie George and, uh, I was very interested in the watch. Blue is my color. This has a matte blue dial and then a sapphire blue bezel. And the colors are just on point for what I like. So that's what attracted me originally. And then the gear type or cog style bezel definitely caught my attention. The, uh, Cog style or the gearing, you know, on this, uh, they're way bigger than what normal cog style bezels look like. And I like that look. And then the sapphire bezel insert with another seller. Giant screw down crown at 7.5 millimeters. And then this is powered by the Miyota 9015 Japanese 24 jewel movement. And then 3,500 meters. Or 12,000 feet, 11,500 feet of water resistance. Not very many watches offer that kind of water resistance. So, super cool. Not that I'll ever need it. I don't even let my wa my watches touch water when I wash my hands. So, not like I'm going to test those limits. But super cool to have. So, with that being said, it has a helium release valve at the 9 o'clock. Because if you're going that deep. You definitely need the release valve. Beautiful three hands brushed with loom. And then we've got the second hand with that red triangle with loom in the center. Date at the three o'clock, not framed. Indices are brushed with loom in the center as well. Then you've got white markings along the chapter ring. And then, of course, the bezel follows suit. Sapphire bezel insert. With a majority of blue with some contrasting white. Looks super good. And then we've got a brush case and bracelet with chamfered edges and polished. And then you've got a little bit of polishing down the center links on the edges there. Which adds like a almost like a dressy look to the bracelet. Makes it definitely look, uh, reminds me more of like citizen style. But super nice looking bracelet. Nice beefy case. So the watch is 43 millimeters in diameter. 15.5 millimeters thick, including the double domed sapphire crystal. And then you've got 52 millimeters lug to lug. It does have male end links, or it has female end links, but the way they're set up, they kind of bind so they don't completely contort underneath. And then we've got 22 millimeter lug width, 7.5 millimeter crown, which is signed. So you have a solid case back with Poseidon because this is a Prometheus Poseidon. You see Prometheus Watch Company, Miyota 9015 movement, ANP0017, and then you got that 11,500 feet water resistance, and Poseidon, of course. 120 click, rotating bezel. No back plane, very nice. Screw down crown. 
overall is a banger of a watch. But I want to know what you guys think. So definitely tell me in the comments. It does have BGW9 Loom. Two hundred and seventeen grams. This thing weighs in on size to my eight inch wrist. What do you guys think? I think it's super nice. Definitely a keeper. Let's put it on the wrist, and I'll show you guys what it looks like on my wrist. This is a forty three millimeter watch, and I think that's my sweet spot for sure. Forty three, forty four millimeters are just like perfect size. So there it is. And it does have a fully milled clasp. I'll show you guys that in a second. I think it fits super well on my wrist. So push button deployment. No locking clasp. Does have the diver's extension. Prometheus branded, like a satin finish on it, and then the mill lower, very good looking, feels very quality, I dig it, so stay tuned for photos, and uh, definitely let me know what you guys think of this watch in the comments, let's hit it with the loom real quick, and then we'll wrap this video up. Big shout out to the homie George Wolf for this one. And there she is. Gorgeous. What do you guys think? Nice glow to the bezel. Very nice glow overall. You can see all the indices, all three hands. It seems like the second hand has green loom where everything else is blue. So it definitely sticks out. So thanks for watching. If you want to see the photos, stay tuned. If not, we'll see you in the next video. Much love and God bless.